From a movie theater to a multifamily apartment complex, that is what is happening to 12 acres of land in San Marcos. Some say they're disappointed by the change. But as KXAN Sarah Alsha explains, developers say, like many areas here in Central Texas, it's needed. Large piles of rubble and dirt. That's what's left of the Starplex movie theater in San Marcos. The atmosphere was amazing. I just always truly loved it when we came to the movie theater. A place where movie memories were made for people like Anthony Castillo, who works at the Domino's near the former theater. After Alfredo, we need the medium and then the pan. The last movie he watched there was Star Wars back in 2019. See, like the conclusion of this trilogy was amazing and I'm glad I was able to see it at the Starplex. I'm glad I was able to experience it there with my family and have a great time. The theater closed in 2020 during the pandemic, sitting empty for two years. But coming soon, this deserted lot will turn into this, a multifamily apartment complex. It'll have a club space, a library space, a gym. Ten buildings filled with one two and three bedroom units. Daniel Campbell is managing director with Longview Equity, the group developing the site. Not uh, really on the student demographic, but more that young, uh, single to young uh, married slash kind of middle-aged person. Campbell says demolition started about a month ago. Contractors are taking out seats and popcorn machines, reselling and recycling the materials. And while there are other theaters nearby, Castillo says he's going to miss what made this one so special. It just gave it that really oldie and fashioned retro vibe that I really like. Sarah Olshah, KXAN News. Campbell says they chose this site because of the different jobs in that area, including Amazon and HEB distribution centers, as well as the Christus Health System. And because of the city's fast-growing population, officials are trying to address its housing needs. In 2019, it drafted an action plan. Among the city's goals is to have more housing options for people across different income and age levels. That includes people earning $25,000 a year up to $150,000. City leaders also want to increase affordable rentals for people making less than $25,000 a year.